Hello YouTube, Philip20 here today and what I want to talk about is how this application that I use for my uh, charge controller, the Midnight Classic 150, opened up and turned alive after I put the Whiz Bang Jr. on. So if you look here we got a battery percentage and how much power is going into the battery on this uh, page here which is really really cool. Love to know how much power we're making in the batteries. Now, if you see right here, we got 3,688 watts. I think that's correct. And then it's 148 amps. So if you look at it like that, that is a ton of power. Now, that is not your common amount of power. I was just demonstrating how much uh, 3,500 watts is in amps. So you definitely need a breaker that's more than 150 amps for 3,500 watt inverter. And this is actually just the charge controller, which is pretty cool. You can see the photovoltaic uh, volts, photovoltaic current, and then uh, the watts, and then you got the battery volts and the battery current. And you know, and it show it calculates it for you in watts, which is you know everybody's going to use watts over amps because amps is pretty much useless without a, a voltage accuracy. So, you know, it's important to go with that. And then let's talk about how much power I've made today in all time. Today's energy is 5.5 kilowatts at 12.02. And then if you look over to the right hand side, it says total energy. It's 1,692 kilowatt hours, which is kind of inaccurate because I've accidentally turned the charge controller off. And anytime you reset it, it resets that day. So you know it's okay no big deal you lose a little bit here and there but this also shows you amp hours in your uh, battery bank it'd be nice if they actually showed you watt hours because watt hours is more important than to know than amp hours because a 12 volt amp hour system 12 volt uh, 675 amp hour system is you know half as much power as 24 volts at 675 amp hours so you know, the higher the voltage, the less amps you're going to be dealing with, but doesn't mean you're losing power. This right here is a demonstration of how I was using a bunch of power all at once. You've seen I was using 3,688 watts. I believe that's what it was. And then you can see here the battery current goes negative in this graph right here by 30 amps or 20 something amps, which is fine. And then you go over here, which is important to me, is battery temperature. Okay? And that battery temperature is, you know, then you got MOSFET temperature, PCB printed circuit board temperature, and then your Whizbang Junior temperature. So, you know, everything's getting really hot at 24 volts, which is not good. All systems that get hot wear out quickly over time. And this is a chart for days. On these days, you see that it drops down real low. That means that I reset it by accident. Maybe in the middle of the day would have been that 4.5 kilowatt hour. But throughout uh, the night, if I was to reset it at night, uh, it would have done that right there. And the reason I've been trying to reset is sometimes it doesn't connect with the internet the way I want it to. And uh, I have to reset it sometimes. And it, it, it's fine. Or I'm working on the system and turn it off, which I turned the Whizbang Junior on, so I disconnect everything. This page right here is pretty cool. It just shows you a daily chart of the power in watts. It also shows you volts, etc., etc. But this, it'll make it a long video, so I'm going to separate it. And this right here shows you how many times you went and float this month. Uh, it also shows your kilowatt hours and you know your volts and your your watts as well, but it don't show it real well when it's sideways. But you know I can assure you, you know, if you look at the top numbers, you know on these dates you'll see uh, two, uh, 27 or 28. That's 2800. So you know my apologies, it didn't show it really well. But this is basically an exercise for you guys to understand how complex you can get out of this charge controller i want to say thank you for watching this video like subscribe share and comment and always this is philip 20 with solar power electricity and electronics and i will holler at y'all later